it's a hugely important one, obviously not just for me, but but for everyone involved. That's the, the, the team is the obviously the priority, and it's a it's a bit of silverware that we can that we can try and achieve. And as a new group, um, the, the squad that's been assembled this season, it's the first time we can obviously win a domestic trophy at this point. So we'll be, certainly be looking forward to the game and, and hopefully going on to win it. Should you have won this competition before now? I think uh, I think certainly so. Uh, but obviously, this is our fourth attempt now. Um, and it's obviously been disappointing that we've not been able to um, to win it up until now. I think all the days ago you would have probably envisaged at least three of them, which is obviously cons in, in consecutive seasons when you're still el eligible to play in it before promotion. Um, that's not been the case, but we've finally got the chance to do that this weekend, and and, and hopefully we will. Well, well, I have a, I mean, it's the least prestigious of, of trophies in, in Scottish football. Well, I have a different feel to it though because it's at Hamden and because it's a sellout. Whereas you look at the last League Cup and Scottish Cup final, haven't been selling. Yeah, I think it's, it's prestigious because it's when you're at Rangers, it's, it's great to win any trophy. The fact that we're in it, of course, we're going on to win it. I mean, folk can ask about the celebrations, will they be muted, will they be reserved? Of course they won't be, but it's a chance to win a trophy for Rangers uh, and you've got to you've got to grab that opportunity, um, no matter what what competition it is, as you said there, if it's one of the lower regarded competitions. Um, obviously we would see that as disrespect, of course, and I think for the travelling fans that have supported us throughout this tournament, it would only be fair that, of course, if we were to go on and win it, that we were to celebrate it right and celebrate the fact that it's the the first domestic trophy in a wee while for, for the club. Is, it, there's a, is there a wee bit of irony as well, given the fact it's Peterhead and everyone talks about that first league game at, at Peterhead back in 2012? It is, and I was just speaking to Baz, uh, wee Barry Mackay there, the now, um, that, that obviously was his first goal uh, for the club um, all the years ago, um, and it's, it's hard obviously to remember the game itself, but certainly the, the result wasn't great on the day and it, it didn't get us off to the best of starts back then, but it is, it, it is, it is funny in a way that that's who we're, we're faced with now, um, in this cup final, but I think both teams will be well prepared. Both teams will be high in confidence, and it, and it should make for a good game. When you think back to that day, and just sort of taking how much the club has sort of moved forward since then. When you, you walk out there, so. of course, um, and then hopefully there's more to come. That's that's our mindset, of course. I think this is the this is the next possible game for us, and we're looking to to try and back up a, a good win midweek when we were able to secure ourselves back into top flight status. So that's the next possible game for us. Um, and we've prepared well. well, we'll obviously get the overnight stay tomorrow, prepare as well as we always have done um, and approach the game hoping that if we hit our normal levels then, then we've got a good chance of winning the game. You obviously we saw the, the scenes in the, on the pitch on, on Tuesday night and in the dressing room but how sort of big were the celebrations? Did you carry them on or is it sort of, you know, you, you know, you've still got a job to do for the remainder of the season, you're trying to sort of keep them okay? No, of course it was great to, to get the wee lap right around the pitch and, and celebrate with the fans who thoroughly deserve the fact that we've, we've managed to get ourselves back to top flight football, um, none more so than the fans who have been exceptional since day one all the days ago when we, when we go back to the to the game against Peterhead that you mentioned there, um, or, or the breaking game before that, um, having been the first game since we dropped. But no, the fans have been, been superb and I think that it was great to to celebrate that with them on Tuesday night, but I think we've got to remain professional and the mindset for us certainly won't change. I mean, the, there was obviously the bottles of champagne in the dressing room for, for that particular moment of celebration to get a few pictures, but um, it was soon on to the protein shakes and, and getting ourselves ready for, for training the next day and, and moving on to this game. So I think that's the preparation certainly haven't changed and the outcome of this game at the weekend, um, the, the normal or the norm for us will just be to be as professional as possible. I'm sure you want to win this league, but also how helpful is it that it might serve as a sort of dress rehearsal for the Celtic game as well? Yeah, it's handy, of course, that it's National Stadium back to back Sundays. Um, it's a good chance for guys that haven't played here before to, to sample the atmosphere. Obviously, it's well documented that we will have a lot of fans here um, come Cup final day, and it'll be great. I mean, we've, we've played in front of, I mean, our fans have been, as I said, terrific since day one, and we were getting these attendances back in the days. Um, which I don't think you would get anywhere else in the world. It's, it just shows you how unique our fans are and our club is. So I think it will be it'll be nice that we can have a wee the guys that maybe haven't tasted the national stadium, tasted the the, the full capacity, um, and it will be it'll be a good setup for it. What's well, been said about the pitch in the last couple of weeks? Have you managed to have a look, or, or what are your thoughts on that? I haven't seen it, so again, it'll just be I'll be probably one of many that haven't seen it um, until we, we turn up on match day and obviously go out before we go in and get changed. So I think. What, irrespective of what, what what the pitch is like, um, what what kind of ball we're playing, maybe we're just ready to turn up and and deliver our level of performance and go and win the game. Well, I was just confirmed that Martin Michael's not going to make the game 
I go the next two games, how much of was that? I mean, obviously your top goal scorer you would have liked to have, perhaps even just off the bench as, as an option. Yeah, of course. I mean, his, his quality is there for everyone to see. The fact that he's our top scorer, um, I think he's still remaining in the, in the in top spot in terms of the league the league top scorer as well, which speaks volumes for, for Waggy. I think the manager said since day one that he just had to play football. He was obviously going through a difficult period um, down the road. He's managed to come up here and he's played regularly and he's shown a, a first-class attitude. I think the manager again touches upon players coming into this club need to add value both on and off the pitch and, and he's another one uh, that, that ticks the boxes. His quality, as I said, is there to see on the pitch. Um, but his attitude and his, his desire off the pitch and again that mirrors the fact that he's getting closer, he's getting closer to fitness, um, he's working hard every single day in training and uh, while it'll be a miss obviously it's the chance for, for somebody else to step in and like they have done in, since um, Waggy's been injured to go and prove that they can play in our team. You'll obviously miss this cup final but you'd, you'd quite like to set him up for the cup final at the end of the season without a chance to sort of have his, his plays part then? Yeah of course, I mean uh, there's I think we'd, we'd all welcome Waggy back as soon as possible, as long as, he's, as long as it's done in the right, the right manner. Again, I've, I've seen the manager speak here, where it's not just a case of Waggy being fit and then ready to play. He's obviously got to, to get his, his actual match fitness back up. Of course, he's got to go and do his, his, his rehab stuff with, with Steve and Kev, the physios, um, like he has been working tirelessly to do. So then it's a case of building up his match fitness and seeing how he can, he can go in games um, for there. But we'll certainly be trying to approach every game, looking to try and win. And, and of course, it's a bonus that Waggy can hopefully play a part in that in the future. Andy Halliday said that, you know, it's really important that Rangers challenge Celtic for the title next season. Do you think it's realistic with the, the team that you've got at the moment? I think uh, the expectancy for us is to, to win every league we go, and that's certainly been the case for the last three or four years. Uh, and next year will be no different. It's Rangers, obviously, we're talking about here. Um, and, and I've only got to mirror what, what, what Andy says. And we've got to, again, be, be highly competitive, again, to, to use the words of the manager the other day. Um, and, and I couldn't agree more um, with the two of them on that.